Hello and welcome to eLearning Campus. So students, from today we are going to start our new series that is for Scratch Programming. Okay, so uh, today is the first class for Scratch Programming. So in today's class, first we will see uh, the first topic of uh, this chapter that is the components of the Scratch. So uh, in this, the components of the Scratch in this topic, I will show you what all the things uh, we have in the scratch window the window that you can see here that is the scratch window so what uh, all the options we have what are the uh, other buttons we have and what are the names of different different area so basically our uh, complete uh, scratch window is divided into three part the first part is the sta stage area and the sprite pan the middle part middle part is known as the block palette and uh, the part that you can see uh, at the right side that part is known as script area script area means where we can uh, put the blocks drop uh, drag and drop the blocks and uh, we can create our script okay so the set of blocks set of instructions are known as script so a script will create in the script area our sprite will move on the stage area the list of sprite and the backdrop and all the things we can see in the sprite pan okay so quickly we'll start first uh, the cat a cat you can see on the screen okay so this is the cat or we can say the character of our scratch programming okay so like in the movie you can see a character actors are there so here in our scratch programming if we are using any actor or any character so we'll say it sprite okay so sprite is nothing but the character or the actor of our sprite uh, our scratch program so uh, here we can use any uh, scratch we have so many scratch uh, in scratch library we have so many sprites are there so we can use any sprite and uh, means so many actors we can use here but by default in scratch we have one sprite that is cat okay that same thing you can see in the logo of the scratch on the top left corner so this is the logo also and this is the default sprite in the scratch programming now children uh, like any uh, other play if you have seen uh, anywhere so the main area where uh, actors are moving actors are performing that area is known as stage so in the same way where our cat is moving our sprites are moving so this complete area the white area at the left side this complete area is known as stage area <clears throat> now uh, at the top left corner of the uh, stage area you can see uh, one screen is there oh sorry one button is there in the blue color uh, so this is uh, known as full screen mode or we can say it presentation mode okay this is presentation mode button or full, sc uh, full screen mode button now uh, in the same uh, in the same bar you can see one green flag and one red button okay so green flag uh, we generally use to start our scratch programming and red button will use to stop the program now uh, here just above this bar you can see one more gray color bar is there okay on uh, just top of this uh, presentation mode button we have a big bar here this bar is known as menu bar children here you will get the file edit and other cursor tools to uh, save uh, file and edit uh, tabs are there to save your project to open a project or uh, uh, to create a new file so all these things we can use with the help of this file and edit button edit uh, tabs so this is known as menu bar children uh, at the middle of the menu bar you can see five uh, buttons are there so this is known as cursor tools okay these tools are there so they, this is known as cursor tool first i'll show you one by one uh, so the very first tool we have is the duplicate cursor tool why uh, we are saying it cursor tools because whenever we click on this uh, tools our cursor will convert it into the, into the shape of this tool uh, i am clicking on duplicate tool and see my cursor is converted into the same shape of tool now what you have to do you just need to click on the sprite on the stage area see it's duplicated in the sprite list this is the area where you can see the sprite list okay how many uh, no matter how many uh, sprites you are using here so uh, all the sprites you can see here in the sprite list area this is the sprite pan only so see it's duplicated i'll show you one more time 
click on this duplicate cursor tool and click on the sprite okay uh, wait <coughs> like this yes so in this way you can duplicate your sprite now the second uh, cursor tool is here is the delete tool okay so uh, with the help of this tool you can delete the sprite directly from the stage you just need to click it see my cursor converted into a scissors uh, kind of thing now just click on the sprite i am selecting the tool and click on the sprite okay now it's get deleted now the other tools here uh, we have grow and shrink tools so grow tool as the name suggests if you want to increase the size of the sprite you can select the grow tool in the same way if you want to shrink or reduce the size of the sprite you can uh, click on shrink tool like this now the last one is the block help so uh, this is generally used to know the functionality of a block okay so if you fee if you uh, for example you have taken this block and you don't know how uh, you can this block will work or how you can use it so uh, you can click this cursor tool click here and see in the side panel you can see all the description and all the things related to the uh, tool okay so all the things are here the sprite will move in the current direction type in how far you want it to move so all the things and all the information are available here so this is the block help tool now children <clears throat> the topmost bar that you can see on this window uh, where you can see scratch to offline editor this is known as title bar okay so always remember the topmost bar of this window is known as title bar so title bar then we have menu bar and then we have um, uh, presentation mode button then our stage area now you can see here uh, at the bottom right corner of the stage area new sprite is mentioned here okay so here in new sprite four options are available first is for library okay if you want you can choose your sprite from library the second one is for paint editor the third one is uh, if you want any uh, sprite to upload from your system from your device then you can use it and the last one uh, is if you want to use camera to capture the image uh, for a sprite now i'll show you from the library only so you just need to click here and you can select uh, either you can uh, click on your uh, particular uh, uh, sprite and click OK. Otherwise, you can double click also. I'll show you one more time. Just click here and uh, choose any sprite that you want. Okay, see, this is the sp these are the sprite list here we have. So choose any sprite list from here and just click OK or double click on the sprite. The same thing. So this is how we can choose the sprite from the library and see all the sprites that I have selected here. It's here in the lab uh, in the sprite list only. Now, children, uh, I have shown you deleted delete tool from uh, in the cursor tool. Now you can delete your uh, sprite from here also from the sprite list. You just need to right click on the sprite and see info, duplicate, delete, save to local file and hide. All the options are available. I am deleting this one now we have only two uh, sprite on the stage children now uh, you can see here apple is selected now now on the top right uh, top left corner of this uh, apple this sprite you can see i i means a info pane this is an info pan so that means all the information related to that particular uh, particular sprite you can see in the info pan okay you just need to click it now here you can see uh, apple apple is mentioned there if you want you can change its name also okay i am changing it to appy so in this way you can change its name and see x y it's mentioned there x y is nothing but the position or the coordinate of the particular apple our complete stage area is basically divided into x and y grid and uh, i'll show you <coughs> wait a minute okay so uh, this is the main area or we can see the main grid where we can see uh, 
uh, uh, x and y axis are there okay so uh, this uh, horizontal line that you can see in orange that is the x axis and the vertical line that you can see is the y axis so our complete area cover complete stage is divided into this x and y pan so each and every point of our stage is uh, basically a location or the point of x and y coordinate or x and y axis only so now i'll show you again see now uh, the x coordinate is 155 somewhere here okay and y coordinate is 82 somewhere here now i am moving it to another coordinate and see now x changed to minus 139 and y changed to 96 why i am showing you this uh, coordinate and axis uh, because whenever you want to move your sprite from one place to another you need to know the coordinate so it would be uh, easy for you to change its position and location now uh, x and y coordinate uh, other than this we have direction also if you want you can change the direction see you can change the direction of your sprite from here now uh, you can set the rotation you want to all it uh, all around you can want you want to rotate otherwise you can rotate it only left and right and you can fix its point fix its point so this is how you can set the rotate style you can uh, set can drag in player and uh, you can uh, from here also you can show uh, show your uh, uh, sprite or if you want you can hide it from here also see like this okay so this is all about the info pan children now <coughs> i'll show you how we can change the backdrop just below the stage area and before the sprite list we have stage backdrop so here in the st stage backdrop just see new backdrop option is here here again we have four options uh, from the library from the from the paint editor and from the system if you want you can uh, upload it you can import it and otherwise you can capture it from camera i'll show you the new backdrop from the library when you click it you can see all the categories are here themes are here and uh, you just need to scroll it down and see so many options are available here you just need to select any one option and click ok and see our backdrop has changed now okay so here uh, here uh, i showed you how we can change it how we can change the how we can use different different styles and uh, sprites and how we can change the backdrop now children uh, this is the block palette i already told you and see uh, if you want to see the uh, location or you want to see the x and y coordinate of a particular uh, sprite you just need to move it and see the change here in the top right uh, corner of the script area x66 and y68 now um, i told you so many times in the classes also that uh, scr scratch is basically designed for kids so here uh, do not need to bother about uh, x and y coordinates much why because whenever you set any position of your sprite on the stage the same thing will reflect here in the glide and in the go to blocks also in the motion motion block is basically used to move your sprite okay so the same thing will reflect here now i am changing its position again now see the same thing is reflecting in glide here again okay now i am changing its position again and again it's changed in the glide children see i am changing it again and like this okay so this is how each and every time you can see her x and y coordinates are changed why it is changed because it is uh, reflecting automatically here whenever you move your sprite see it is glad so like this it will work automatically you just need to move your uh, sprite at certain location and the same coordinate x and y coordinate uh, it will reflect here in the uh, go to block also and in the glide uh, block also so uh, children uh, this is all about the component of the scratch okay uh, the blocks will start from the next class okay if you like this video please like it share and subscribe it uh, all the links i'll attach here on the screen thank you so much